Hey guys, welcome to Cora Radar, your one-stop shop for tips and tricks in the digital world. Today we'll talk about how to fix iPhone stuck in recovery mode. So, you find an iPhone stuck on recovery mode screen after failing to install the latest iOS update like iOS 17 or later or restore using iTunes or Finder through a computer. It shows a USB cable and a laptop computer along with support.apple.com slash iPhone slash restore message at the top of the screen. In older iPhone models, you might see the Connect iTunes sign on the iPhone recovery mode stuck screen. What happens when you see it? Maybe you keep getting error code 4013 from iTunes or Finder application. Perhaps your phone itself suddenly turns off and then back on the recovery mode screen. It seems like your iPhone is stuck in a recovery mode loop. If this is your case, keep watching and we'll show you how to fix iPhones stuck in recovery mode. First, let's quickly go through some scenarios that most users in the Apple Discussions community might encounter when facing iPhone recovery mode stuck issues. Basically, recovery mode in an iPhone is a troubleshooting mode that Apple releases to help users fix some software issues, which is also called a restore screen. You just need to connect your iPhone to iTunes or Finder, press some buttons to enter recovery mode, and then update or restore the device to fix the issue. However, Chances are that many iPhone stuck recovery mode problems crop out you enter recovery mode to fix iOS issues. The iPhone stuck in recovery mode and won't restore or update. You've tried using recovery mode and DFU mode many times and downloaded the latest iPhone firmware on your computer. However, the restore or update process never gets completed. You try to force restart your device because of low storage space or for other reasons. The device gets stuck at the Apple logo and a few seconds later it goes into recovery mode mistakenly. iTunes or Finder keeps showing errors when updating or restoring the iPhone in recovery mode. Next, take a look at the common reasons why your iPhone is stuck on the recovery screen. Corrupted iOS update. Software glitches or bugs. Malware or virus infection. Jailbreaking complications. Out of storage. Data corruption. If there is data corruption or an issue with the device's file system, it can prevent the iPhone from booting up properly, making it get stuck in recovery mode screen. Third-party software conflicts, battery drain, hardware damage, physical damage to the iPhone, such as a broken screen or water damage, can interfere with its normal functioning and lead to it being stuck on the recovery screen. Now, follow me to try the troubleshooting steps below to get iPhone out of recovery mode stuck. Don't worry if you're a novice of digital devices or a new iPhone user. We'll introduce all the methods step by step, making it easy to learn how to fix your iPhone when it is stuck in recovery mode. Besides, if you have any questions about attempting these tricks to iPhone recovery mode problems, write it down in the comment below and we'll reply to you within 24 hours. 1. Force Restart iPhone It's common for iPhone users to get into recovery mode mistakenly by pressing some buttons. If you're one of them, the very first thing you should do is to force restart your iPhone to get out of the recovery mode screen. You can do the trick without a computer and you won't lose anything you've saved on the device. Now, let's start. If you're using an iPhone 8, iPhone 10, or later iPhone models, do this to force restart your device. Press and quickly release the volume up button. Press and quickly release the volume down button. Press and hold the side button until you see the Apple logo. If you're using an iPhone 7 or iPhone 7 Plus, do this to force restart your device. Press and hold both the volume down button and the side button. Continue holding both buttons until you see the Apple logo. If you're using iPhone 6s or older iPhone models, do this to force restart your device. Press and hold both the home button and the sleep or wake button. Continue holding both buttons until you see the Apple logo. If your iPhone exits recovery and boots up correctly to the lock screen, that means there are some system bugs. Doing a forced restart can refresh the system to make your phone running normally. If it can't force your iPhone out of recovery mode, try the fix below. 2. Switch a USB cable or computer. iPhone stuck on recovery mode and won't restore or update when you're trying to restore or update the device. Then, your solution now is to unplug the current USB cable and find another one to connect your device to the computer again. Make sure iTunes or Finder is running its most recent version. See if iTunes or Finder now detects your iPhone and begins to update or restore your device. If not, consider changing to another Windows or macOS computer. If you get stuck and can't get out of Apple recovery mode on your iPhone due to you don't know how to update or restore via recovery mode, go to the next two fixes. 3. Get out of recovery mode by updating iPhone. 
Now, we'll show you how to connect your iPhone to a computer and do an update to get your iPhone out of the restore screen. You can exit the recovery mode without losing data and update your device to its latest iOS version. Here's what you need to prepare. Get a working USB cable. Get a Windows or a Mac laptop or desktop. Download iTunes or Finder application on your computer. Get your iPhone that gets frozen on the recovery mode screen. Once you've prepared everything, let's start. Run iTunes or Finder on your computer. Use a USB cable to connect your iPhone to a computer. As your iPhone has been in recovery mode, iTunes or Finder will detect it and prompt you to update or restore your device. Choose the update option to download and install the latest available iOS version into your iPhone. You should now see your iPhone remove the recovery mode screen, show a black screen, and then display an Apple logo with a progress bar. It indicates the updating process. The process might take a very long time, but it's worth it. It'll keep all your data safe. Once done, let your iPhone restart. Hope you now exit the iPhone recovery mode to get it up and running. 4. Get out of recovery mode by restoring iPhone. Your iPhone might be still freezing on recovery mode screen after the update. In this case, you can restore your iPhone data and settings back to its original status to prevent your iPhone from looping in recovery mode. This wipes clean your device, deleting all your precious photos, videos, chat history, contact numbers, and so on. After that, it'll force the iPhone to restart in recovery mode and after turning it on, it'll start in the hello screen, where you need to set up the device and start over. Before going forward, please confirm that there is a full data and settings backup on the computer, or the iCloud backup feature is turned on before you get stuck in recovery mode. Now, let's start run iTunes or Finder on your computer. Use a USB cable to connect your iPhone to a computer. You can see my iPhone 11 is now in recovery mode screen. Then, go back to the computer. From the dialog box that pops up in iTunes or Finder, choose the restore option to erase all data and settings on your iPhone and restore it to its factory settings. Wait for the restore process to complete. Maybe one hour. Maybe three hours. After the restore is complete, your iPhone should restart and prompt you to go through the initial setup process. Follow the on-screen instructions to set up your device. 5. Set up an iPhone repair. If the stuck restore screen issue occurred because of a bad piece of hardware, say a loosened LCD component or the internal parts getting water damage, you'll go to set up a service at the Apple Repair Center. Because it's hard for a novice to figure out the broken hardware part. Therefore, it's advised to visit the Apple Support website or use the Apple Support app to schedule an appointment at your nearest Apple Repair Store. And there you have it, folks. We've reached the end of our video on how to fix an iPhone that's stuck in recovery mode screen. We sincerely hope that the troubleshooting steps we've shared have been effective in resolving your issue. Remember, if you ever encounter any issues with your iPhone or any other device, don't hesitate to seek help in Cora Radar. Thank you for watching, and we wish you the best of luck in getting your iPhone back in working condition. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel for more tech-related content. Until next time.